bored versus boring, frustrated versus frustrating, embarrassed versus embarrassing. How do we use these words? First of all, these words are actually from verbs. For example, the words bored and boring, they come from the word bore, which is a verb. Frustrated and frustrating are both from the verb frustrate. And the last one, embarrassed and embarrassing, are both from embarrass, to make someone embarrassed. Now we add these suffixes, ed or d, and ing, to change these verbs into adjectives. Now, how do we use them in sentences? Do they have the same meaning? Do they have the same use? Continue watching this video. Hi, this is Anne from Just Random English, and today we're going to talk about adjectives that end with ing and ed. If you're new to the channel and it's your first time watching my video, please do hit the like and subscribe button. If you do feel like it, if you find this video helpful and informative, I do upload English lessons here. And since you're watching this video, you might be interested in learning English. I guarantee that this channel is helpful for you. All right, let's start. Before anything else, I'd like to remind you that not all verbs ending with ed are changed as adjectives or are used as adjectives in sentences. Of course, we still can use them as verbs in their past tense form, all right? But these verbs or these words that I'm going to tell you are initially verbs but are now adjectives. Let's have the verb embarrass as an example. He embarrassed me when he called my name and invited me to go to the stage. That means this person, this he, made me feel embarrassed. He embarrassed me, all right? But for this sentence, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed to go to the stage. That means this embarrassed here is now an adjective, all right? I can also say I felt embarrassed. I felt embarrassed to go to the stage. This one is an adjective. You have to remember that verbs are action words. Well, not all verbs are action words, but at least the verbs that we're talking about in this lesson are all action verbs. They are action words and adjectives are describing words. So for that sentence, I felt embarrassed. Now I use the word embarrassed to describe what I felt at that moment. What we're going to do first is I'm going to give the verb then you have to attach the ed and ing as suffixes. Then we'll have example sentences. Are you ready? Let's have the first verb, tire. To make someone tired. So I can say, I am tired because this day is very tiring. This day is very tiring. I am describing myself, I am tired. I can't say, well, I can say that I am tiring, but I don't think I'm a tiring person. Because when you say you're a tiring person, you make people feel tired of talking with you. Yeah, just like that. So do not ever say that you are a tiring person, all right? That you are tiring. Say, I am tired because something is tiring. From my sentence, this day is very tiring. Like, I have a lot of things to do today. So this day is very tiring. The next word is commonly misused by English learners. I often hear students saying, I am boring. I am boring. So the verb there is bore. Then we can add ing and ed, boring, then bored. When you say you are boring, that means you're not a very funny person. You're not the perfect person to be with when I have to stay all day in the house or I have to spend the day with you. If you have that personality, then you yourself might not be too comfortable being around with people. You might not want to say that you are boring. Like, I am boring. No, not that. Don't say that. Well, unless you're comfortable saying that, yeah, that's fine. But you might mean to say, 
I am bored because something is boring. Let's say I go to a party. I'm not really that kind of person who enjoys, you know, going to parties, especially if I would meet very random people. So I might say this party is very boring. This party is very boring. This party is boring. So I am bored. I am bored. Why? Because something is boring. Now I want you to see the pattern. Isn't it that I feel something? When I feel something, I use the one with ED and the cause is usually the one with ING. I said I am tired because something is tiring. I am bored because something is boring. So we use the one with ING for stating the cause of our feeling. Now let's have the verb frighten. Frighten. The little girl was frightened. Again, the little girl was frightened. That was how the little girl felt. Why? A frightening monster suddenly appeared on the television. Again, a frightening monster suddenly appeared on the television. Annoy. Again, annoy. So we can have annoyed and annoying. Again, annoyed and annoying. The one with ED is the feeling. It is used to describe the feeling, while the other one with ING is the cause. Let's have example sentences. He got annoyed the other day. Again, he got annoyed the other day. The sound coming from the machine is just annoying. The sound coming from the machine is just annoying. Now I'm going to give you a list of sentences and you have to identify whether the adjectives were correctly used or not. Are you ready? Let's have the first one. I find basketball very boring. Again, I find basketball very boring. Yes, it's correct. Next, I am exciting about going to the beach. Again, I am exciting about going to the beach. It's not correct. It should be, I am excited because something makes me feel excited. Something is exciting. This book is interested. Again, this book is interested. Now, is it correct? It's not correct. It should be interesting. This book is interesting. It's surprising to know that we now have 780 subscribers. Again, it's surprising to know that we now have 780 subscribers. Yes, that's correct. It's surprising. It's not, it's surprised. Well, I was surprised because something was surprising. Taking a stroll in the late afternoon is relaxing. Again, taking a stroll in the late afternoon is relaxing. Yes, this one is correct. Now, what does stroll mean? Stroll means taking a leisurely walk, like you're not thinking of the time, um, the path or the direction you're going. People take a leisurely walk when they have to get rid of their stress, when they have a lot of things to think of, to, you know, just go out there and breathe. <laughs> I often do this. He's frustrating to know the reason behind her sudden change of mood. Again, he's frustrating to know the reason behind her sudden change of mood. She suddenly changed her mood and he is so frustrated. It should be frustrated and not frustrating, so this one is not correct. She's never satisfied with her output. Again, she's never satisfied with her output. Yes, this one's correct. The response they get from their audience is satisfying. Again, the response they get from their audience is satisfying. Yes, this one's correct because the subject in the sentence is the cause or the reason that they feel satisfied. She got disappointing when she learned that her favorite meal was not available. Again, she got disappointing when she learned that her favorite meal was not available. No, this one is not correct. It should be, she got disappointed. 
She got disappointed. Why? Because she couldn't eat her favorite meal. It was not available. And that was disappointing indeed. Last one, the increasing number of positive cases is alarming. Again, the increasing number of positive cases is alarming. Yes, this one's also correct. So people might feel alarmed because of the sudden or probably rapid increase of number of positive coronavirus cases. And that's the end of our quiz for today. So how many items did you answer correctly? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you have topics which I haven't posted yet, please leave them in the comments as well. I might post videos out of them if I can. If you find this video helpful and informative and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I'd also really appreciate it if you share this video with other learners. We currently have 780 subscribers and I'm truly grateful for that. Well, I do my best to, you know, equal the amount of support that you're giving to my channel. Thank you very much. And as always, dream and make your dream happen. I'll see you on my next video.